Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the code force problem in added binary imbalance. So in this problem we are given a string s that is consisting of only zero and ones. Okay. So in one operation we can choose any index i and we need to insert a character i and i plus one position if the condition is that if s i equal to s i plus one that then we need to consider one otherwise we need to consider insert zero okay so we need to determine is it possible to make making the zeros in the string strictly greater than the number of ones or not possible that is the case right so let's see in the first case we have zero and zero so count of zero is two and count of ones is one so that means it is uh, sorry zero that is strictly zero so we will return yes here right so if we take example two one or one okay so in this case the count of ones is two and counts of zero is zero so basically if we take these two numbers and these are equal it is possible that we can insert only one that is one 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 and if we take again one, then one, 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 and one. So it's not possible to insert zero here. So that is a problem. We can't insert zero. Okay. So <coughs> let's see third example. In the third example, we have one and zero. Right. In one and zero, we can insert zero. Right. So in the current case, like we can't determine the answer, but as it is 1 and 0, we can insert a 0. So 1, 0, 0. Now, if you calculate this, the count of 0 is 2 and count of 1 is 1. That is strictly greater. So we can return it as yes. So let's see some good example which will help you to understand. So let's consider 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 0. Okay. So that is the case. So think about it. What what should be the answer? Like the count of 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it is 0. So you can think of like it is greater than uh, like 7 is a very big number compared to 0. Then we can say uh, it is not possible to make 0 greater than what? Here is a catch, like we have 0 and 1. Yeah, this is the pair. If we have this pair, or it can be 0 and also. Both conditions. If that is the pair, if 1, 0 or 0, 1 is possible, that means we can insert any number of zeros. Like we can, we are continuously storing 0, 0, 0, and here it will be 1 only. Okay. So we can increase indefinite times. We can insert zero indefinite time. That will make suddenly greater than this once. So then our answer will be yes. Hope you understood this. So we can insert zero zero because this condition always satisfy if we insert zero. Because we will insert zero here, here. So one zero will be always there. And we can insert that. And what you can think of if you have 0 1 if i have 0 1 1 0 these two conditions like if you find like just first what you need to do you need to take the count of ones and zeros okay and another thing what you need to do you need to check this thing like if s of i not equal to s of i plus 1 okay if that is a case happens that means answer will be yes you can stay forward return yes in that case directly if that is the case if this is the this is not the case at any point then you need to see the counts of 1 and 0 and whatever is greater 
you can return according to that. Like if zero is greater than once, your answer will be yes. Otherwise, no. That is a simple basic solution for this problem. Hope you understood this solution. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Thank you.